Hey guys, so in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to download data from the James Webb Space Telescope. So we have finally some great images from the telescope and it's mind blowing. Everyone saw it and now we can download the raw data. Thanks to NASA being awesome. I mean, they did the same for Hubble and now once again, everyone can download the data for free. Uh, a big thank you to Patrick. I will have his uh, astro bin somewhere here. Thank you so much. He's the one who helped me with this. I have no idea how to use a terminal and all that. So thank you so much, Patrick, as usual. And uh, please go follow him on Astrobin. He's, he's awesome. So if you want to do this, it's very simple. Actually, no, it's very difficult. But I'll try my best to make it very simple here with only four or five steps. Um, no blah blah, straight to the point. So let's do this. So the first thing you have to do is to go on the uh, actual web page where you can download the raw data. So as you can see here, it's a um, uh, web page with a bunch of text, a bunch of red, uh, scary things. You can just ignore that if you want. So I know nothing about coding or using a terminal or anything like that, but sadly we're gonna have to use the terminal in this video to download the data. So the way it works is once you download the file from the website, you will have a very, very small uh, .sh file. So this is not the data. The way to get the data is actually to open that file uh, using terminal, and then this will connect with the cloud and download from the cloud. So um, on this web page here, you have a bunch of you know, a bunch of text, a bunch of red scary text, uh, and down if you go to the section called table of scripts, you will see some of the available data from James Webb. So here we have five: um, the Carina Nebula, Stephens Quintet, the Southern Ring Nebula the exoplanets and the galaxy cluster. So the, the five currently uh, revealed to the public. And so on the right here, you can see there are three options for each, calibrated, uncalibrated, and guide star. I don't think we care too much about guide star. I don't really see a point of downloading the uncalibrated ones. So we'll go with calibrated, which means it's been calibrated with dogs and, and all that. So let's try the Carina Nebula, which is the first one on the list here. So what you have to do is click on calibrated, so it's going to download the file uh, and then it's very quick because it's a very, very small file. And if you go to uh, show in Finder or you know, look for the file in your computer, it's going to open up uh, most likely in the downloads folder. So here the second step is, I think it's optional, but I will do it anyway. I suggest you do it as well, just so we're on the same page for the rest. Uh, I'll do a new folder here and call it Gems Web Space Telescope, so JWST and slide this file in this folder. Uh, I did this back then on my first try because I, I got them like all at once. So I wanted them all at once in one folder. So let's just do it anyway like this. And so here we have the file in our JWST folder. So this is a file as you can see, it's only like three megabytes. So it's not the data. Uh, so as you can see, when you open the file, uh, it's just like a, a text edit, like with a bunch of, of stuff we don't really care about. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't understand this, this text. So um, what we have to do instead is to open another terminal. So you can do this by going to the finder window and just type terminal in there. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> terminal. Or you can go to applications in uh, utilities and then you will find terminal in there. So here we have the terminal. So I'm not, I have no idea how to use this, but I just followed some tutorials and thanks so much to my friend Patrick. Uh, who helped me with this. But if we try to open the file right away, it's not going to work. It's going to tell you that you have uh, not the permission required and you need to, I think, execute uh, privileges. So in order to bypass that, uh, we have to give our file uh, the right privileges. So for this, you will input uh, in the terminal cd, um, space, very important. And then you want the terminal to go within the, the folder. So if you don't want to type a bunch of stuff, you can just drag the actual folder. Okay, you can drag it in there after CD space. And now it, it knows the location of the, of the folder. And then hit enter or return. And now the terminal is within the folder. Okay, I'm trying to explain to you how that works. I myself have no idea how it works, but um, that's what I understand. So now we are within the folder. All we have to do 
then is to input a different command. So go on the text version on the website and copy the, uh, the text there, which will make your life easier. So now back in the terminal, we will just paste what I just copied, which is chmod space uh, something something or x whatever. Um, you'll find it below. And then hit enter or return. And now we should have all the permissions slash privileges on that folder, I mean, on everything inside the folder. So including our, our file. And so now we only have one last step to go, uh, which is to actually open the file and download the data. So for this step, all we have to do is to paste, I mean, to type in there, uh, dot this hyphen thing or slash, and the name of the file. So check the name of your file in your, your downloads folder. Uh, mine is the Carina Nebula, so it ends in 3.1, but other ones end in 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, and 3.6. So if you have the Carina Nebula, uh, just uh, type it in there with a 3.1 on the end. But if not, make sure it's the correct name. So uh, type that and hit enter or return. And now it should open up the file. As you can see, it just reset it. And now the terminal uh, is going crazy with a bunch of numbers, a bunch of stuff going on, and it's actually downloading the file from the cloud. So that's great. Uh, that means it's working. Uh, it's going to take a long while. I'm telling you now, the files are huge. Um, one way you can check, uh, the, the, not the progress, but how much data that is currently uh, copied on your computer, you can go into uh, your, uh, your folder again, and it created a new folder, JW02731, click, I mean right click and either get info or if you're on Windows, um, proprieties. And then it will open up and as you can see on the top here, it will show you the current uh, size of the, um, of the folder. And as you can see, it's going up really fast. Um, this, these files are like hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes. So it will take a while. My main computer is still downloading and it's currently at like 120 gigabytes. So I have no idea when it's going to end, but um, yeah. Hopefully soon so I can show you guys some images. So yeah, uh, the last step would be to enjoy your data and open them in uh, your processing software of your choice. Uh, I'm going to be using PixInsight and uh, hopefully be able to process this data pretty nicely. If uh, when this video is over, I have some data already from the main computer, you will see it right here. If not, it means it's still downloading, which is sad, but very, very true. It's very good data, so it's okay. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you guys, and I hope you can practice your, your processing on this crazy data. So I'll see you guys next time, and class guys.